uh, to uh, oh man, it's getting quite emotional. It's been a fantastic last two weeks where we've been um, going through different stories that have been submitted by uh, the wonderful community of Zimbabwe. And uh, the uh, touching thing about um, these stories is people actually went out and took time out to note people around their communities that are actually doing good and they sent us all sorts of letters about people that needed their wishes granted and we are so grateful to tea and pick and pay uh for going the extra mile and making sure that uh they do this as they did with us last year so today's wish uh christmas wish it came through uh, tea and pick and pay. This is um, something that says pensioners. Uh, that's Bernice and uh, Hilton Young had their home gutted by fire last week, caused by a running petrol generator in their garage, and have lost everything. This is including their vehicles. Uh, they are traumatized. Although thankfully, with their minor injuries, uh, Bernice and Hilton need your help, need our help in rebuilding their lives. Now, Bernice weighs a size two shoes, and size eight and ten clothes, and Hilton also weighs small sizes uh so this came across here to tm pick and pick and we really dial again gonna have to just re try and re get them again on the line and uh i know that by the way you were showing me pictures malcolm we saw pictures of this particular incident here and i can imagine what it must be like as a build up to december and your home is gutted you have no way to go no car not even shoes that must be really terrible tm pick and pay wishes you amazing. must be absolutely awful all right. Hi. Um, hi, good morning, Bernice. How are you today? Okay, fine. Who's speaking? All right, I'm glad to hear you're okay and doing fine. My name is TK. I'm calling from a radio station called ZFM Stereo. We uh, have somebody that wrote to us and told us about your situation uh, where the house was gutted by fire and you've lost your things. Can you just tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Um, sorry, you from a radio station. Yeah, and you are actually live on ZFM Stereo. I am with me, the um, uh, MD for TM Pick and Pay, Malcolm. And he's got a little surprise for you. Pick and Pay, Malcolm. Yes, Bernice, good morning. It's Malcolm speaking. How are you? Oh, hello, Malcolm. Sorry. I'm, I'm totally confused. Okay, I've got well. So many names and well, you, you just, just, just talk to me now, Bernice. Um, it, we we heard about the devastating news that happened at, at your home. Yes. And uh, we 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 sat down and thought, how can we assist by uh, just making uh, this terrible tragedy a little bit uh, less of a blow at this time of the year? And we're running our Christmas wish at the moment with ZFM. Yes. Uh, what we're going to do for you, Benice, and you don't have to use it today. You can use it tomorrow. You can use it whenever you're ready. We're going to put aside twenty-five thousand dollars for you. Oh my God! Uh, for you to come shop in our stores, get some stuff, get come and get whatever you need. And, oh my uh, goodness! And uh, it's a little Christmas wish from us to just say. Wow. We 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 terribly sad to hear about what happened, but uh, this is a, just a little something that we can do for you guys. So, I'm putting aside twenty five thousand dollars worth of shopping for you. We'll be in touch. You tell us when you want to come. If you don't can't come now, you can come next year. You can come whenever you you ready to come oh, along. Malcolm, I'm, I'm wow. overwhelmed with. <laughs> Thank you. We we will we will we will need it right at the moment. That's fine, um, Bernice. You know, I'm in transit between, um, you know, the a flat here in our complex. Mm -hmm. And another one is a furnished flat which somebody has offered to us to live in until they come back from Germany. That's wonderful. So at the moment we've got somewhere to stay which is next door to our flat. Okay. Well, well now, you, now you've got... Now you've nothing. Now you've got some money to spend on Christmas and put a smile on everyone's face, Bernice. Ah, uh, Malcolm, I, I can't tell you how grateful we are. Oh, nice. That is absolutely wonderful. Thank well, everybody. That's an absolute so many pleasure. many people have offered help and have brought us things, and we are just overwhelmed with the kindness and the goodwill. Please pass on our thoughts to everybody yep. that we appreciate everything that everybody has Wonderful. done. Uh, yeah, well, it is the time of giving and it is the time of sharing. So from us to you and your husband, have a blessed Christmas. 
Uh, I look forward to, to meeting you if you're coming around to one of our stores and uh, God bless and, 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 and thank you. That's Pick and Pay, is it? That's correct, yeah. And you are Malcolm? We'll be in touch, don't you worry, Minnie. Okay. We'll be in touch. Right. Malcolm, thank you from Ma the bottom of our hearts. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And to you, Malcolm, thank you. Okay. Pay Christmas wish, and we just had a fantastic time earlier on in the morning speaking to. Uh, uh, well, if you missed it, you're gonna have to catch up some time. But here's quickly another one here, uh, dear Pada. Here's yet another draw. Here's yet another year draws to a close. We reflect and appreciate the generosity and kindness of all your donors for their support in the past. At Kids Can Zimbabwe, it's been a custom of many years to hold a Christmas handout for cancer patients this year is not different and we are having our hand out on the 17th of december 2019 and we have no doubt uh you are uh oversubscribed with requests for assistance but we would like to make an appeal for a contribution in cash or kind however small to help this christmas i uh, have to help make this christmas a happy one for approximately uh 35 children uh some of which will be their last this is quite said your support will be much appreciated and thank you for giving hope to many families who simply could not afford to purchase any of the life-giving support uh that's needed their kids can believes every child deserves the right to fight okay and we actually have somebody on the line this morning i believe it's maureen good morning maureen how are you today all right uh we have received your request here my name is tondere katande or tk i'm calling from zfm stereo and i am with uh, uh md for tm pick and pay uh zimbabwe malcolm and he's got a little something for you morning maureen how are you i'm fine thank you wow thank you very much thank you so much malcolm uh you don't know what i'm gonna do yet <laughs> but you're thanking me that's wonderful <laughs> First of all, Maureen, I want to salute you guys for what you do for the young children. It's, it's, it's very touching and it's very sad that, um, you know, you mentioned in your letter that it might be some of theirs lost. Didn't and that's, that's something that really touches me as a, as a father and as a grandfather. And then, you know, I love your slogan that every child deserves the right to fight. Absolutely. That's, that's, fan yeah. that's fantastic, you know. And um, I, I think... From us as an organization, I know that we've, uh, we've helped you guys in the past because it's a wonderful cause. You do a wonderful job. And what I'd like to do just to help out with your Christmas party is uh, we'll be in touch later on today. And you can come and do some shopping with us to the value of $10,000. Wow. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. The children will really appreciate yeah, this. Well, you, we, thank you so much. Please, really please, do, please do two things yes. for me. One is wish all the children a blessed Merry Christmas. And, Definitely. And two, I salute you guys for what you do. God bless you and uh, you two have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. You're most welcome. Merry Christmas to you too. All okay, right. Maureen, thank you. Thank you. All right. This is Christmas Wish on ZFM Stereo. And um, we're actually going to make another call because the guys at TM Pick and Pay. And thank you very much, Malcolm. I know that every year you have committed to uh, uh, 10 wishes. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year you are going a little bit extra. Why are you going a little bit extra? I think it's the season of giving, TK. You know, as I said to you on the, on the day one, uh, to me, the greatest thing about being able to give is giving. And when you see the people that receive, and you heard the, 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 the lady this morning um, for that oh terrible my. tragedy, and some of the stuff that Pada and the team have done already at the handout, it's, it's just, it touches your heart. And I think that for us as an organization, to be able to just help in a little way mm -hmm. makes us be able to say that we did something for Christmas for somebody besides everything else that we do during this festive season and that's the time for giving you know yep. and i think we should uh, as a as a as a community and as a society just help one person once a day absolutely and we thank you for that man and we really wish uh, more communities would do this and uh, if you were listening earlier on we had pensioners bernice and hilton young who had their home gutted by fire last week caused by a running petrol generator in their garage and have lost everything including their vehicles and shoes and everything and we spoke to them and had an emotional time and actually what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day is we're going to be uh Excuse me, you know, we're having breakfast here at TM Picket Bay. They're hosting us very nicely. Anyway, we're going to be making a couple of more calls to uh, other people that we have 
we, that have had their wishes granted here just to find out their reaction and how they've been because I know when we made some of those calls some people didn't believe that well, they thought it was a prank call exactly they they who's calling you know and uh, <laughs> it's it's the fact of being able to they, they they're shocked by generosity okay and so when you do the follow-up afterwards what has been some of the moments and reactions that you've been sharing with some of our people that have had their wishes granted it's absolutely joyous to see when they receive that they still don't believe it you know on last week we went to the house and we donated um, stoves and fridges and beds and blankets and and they are just absolutely awed by they really can't believe that it's yeah. real you know? oh, it's Christmas time. exactly and, and we just keep saying to everybody you know it's the Christmas wish we've we've got a wonderful radio partner and just be take it and and be happy and hopefully it makes a difference in somebody's life oh we certainly have been uh, so grateful to Christmas wish had a very emotional this morning 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 this morning when we made our first two calls and uh, we spoke to a lady whose house was gutted by fire and they lost everything and of course TM pick and pay came through with a nice Christmas uh, wish granting for 2019 for them so shout out to these guys and thank you for sending in letters we also uh, spoke to another lady earlier on and uh, yeah there was also a great experience with the TM pick and pay Christmas wish so uh, no we actually spoke to kids uh, kids can that's who we spoke to and we are we will be joining their Christmas party. That's all we can share for now. Okay, on the line, we've also got uh, another lady that we made friends with last year. And I believe uh, that we spoke to her last year. She's doing a fantastic job. She is one of those good people and citizens that have taken time out of their own things and their own resources to look after uh, orphans. And she's been looking after uh, disabled children. Good morning, Auntie Rachel. How are you? Very well, thank you. Season's greetings to you. And how have you been? I'm fine. I'm very happy. Thank you. Right. My name is TK. I'm calling from calling you from ZFM Stereo. I'm actually live on ZFM Stereo at the moment. And uh, with me is the MD for TM Pick and Pay, Malcolm. I believe we met some time, and yeah, uh, we are back again to talk to you this year. Okay. Auntie Rachel, good. Auntie Rachel, can you hear me? It's Malcolm speaking. Hello. How are you this morning? I'm fine, thank you. I'm very good, thank you. And how are all those wonderful children you're looking after? Uh, everything is okay. We are very happy for the whole last year, 2019. We appreciate for everything you did for us. That's fantastic, Auntie Rachel. So, I thought uh, as, uh, as the last wish of the day for 2019, uh, Pida and the team will be in touch and what we're going to do is we're going to give you another ten thousand dollars for the month of December to go and buy some nice goodies for the children and perhaps have a little Christmas party Ooh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas Auntie Rachel let me say I, I salute you for the wonderful work that you do uh, you do it all on your own um, please send our best regards and Merry Christmas to the wonderful children that you look after and from TM Pick and Pay, uh, let me say to you, God bless you and uh, have a very Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, God bless you, thank okay, yeah. you. Okay, Auntie Rachel, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Thank you, Auntie Rachel. And again, we appreciate all the work that you're doing. It's a Merry Christmas to you from all of us here at TM Pick and Pay uh, and ZFM Stereo and AB Communications. Have a wonderful one and all the best for 2019. Uh, for 2020. Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Cool.